Well, there you are, there's the glue. Let's put a bit on there. Dry to the touch and then I'll join the bus. This is the one we're going to. I don't know what you want to do this side or like I want something different. Be secured, you know, once it's what you see. No, it's the wrong it's rounded at the top. And that that'll be rounded as well then. That confirmed. So I've got to go and look at the real one that's over there. Go and look at you see. Look at the lights as well. Marco Polo style. And the shape here of the glass. You know. Writing like they do for all the adverts they used to have on the buses. See that curve at the top there? Yeah. Now that, that piece there will be curved around. I've got to just... I bend it and I put other cardboard with it to strengthen it back and front. Double wall, double wall across there. See, so bend it. And that's, that's going to follow the, the shape of the back, you see. Like that. Very interesting. Okay. Here we are. Here's the bus itself. Yeah. Section. L section. Angle. Angle section. Cardboard. That's the whole purpose. It's. There's a bit of engineering comes into it. You see, you've got to work out ways to strengthen it and so on. You must have quite a bit now, Tom. So it's not a blind cap, you know. So then I've got to put in two. Go! Hello, my name is John Fan. I was born in Durban at Eddington Hospital in 1945, here in South Africa. And I've been doing these model buses as a history of Durban transport. This, this, this model here is a 1930 carrier motor bus. Then we go to a 1938 AEC trolley bus. Then we go to a 1948 Leyland double decker, Leyland OPD2. And then we go to a 1938 trolley bus, but it, as it appeared in 1950, with the livery of 1950, the color scheme. And then we have a 1960 uh, Leyland Royal Tiger single decker and a 1962 Leyland Royal Tiger single decker and then we have this example of the London uh, AEC route, route Master double leg diesel bus and that's some of the ones that are built. Okay, John, go for it. You, right. go st you, you go stand next to the bus and talk on it. Okay, I'm going to start now. Yeah, you can go ahead of me on this side of the camera, John. That side of the camera. Yes. Can All you right. see me now? You don't need to see me. No, I don't need to see you. Right, go for it. Talk. Right, there you are. Now we go back to the beginning of the parade and we have this 1930 carrier motor bus. It's made in cardboard. It still has to be painted. And then we have the 1938 AEC trolley bus, again in cardboard, and it still has to be painted. And then we go on to the 1948 Leyland OPD2, and that has to be painted as well. It's also cardboard. But here we now have a fiberglass body shell, which is more involved in building them than in cardboard. And this is a... 1938 AEC trolley bus, but it, it's in the livery or Durban Corporation livery of 1950, maroon and cream. And then we have here the Leyland Royal Tiger, 1960. Durban had quite a number of these Royal Tigers, and it'll be painted red. And then the 1962 Royal Tiger, which was the next batch the same type of bus that was cardboard as well and it'll be painted and then bringing up the rear we have this 
example of the London Transport AEC Regent, which is actually made in metal, not in fiberglass and not in cardboard. AEC Regent double-decker, as used in London Transport. 